Welcome back to our Arduino series. In today's video, we're going to create a simple yet effective project using an Arduino, a servo motor, and an HW201 IR obstacle sensor. We'll be programming the servo motor to react to the presence of an object detected by the IR sensor. It's a great project to dive deeper into understanding sensors and servo control with Arduino. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need for this project, an Arduino board, a servo motor, an HW201 IR obstacle sensor, jumper wires, a breadboard. Make sure you have everything ready, and then we can begin with the wiring. Before we dive into the wiring, let's quickly talk about the servo motor. A servo motor is a rotary actuator that allows for precise control of angular position. Unlike regular DC motors, servos can be positioned at specific angles thanks to an internal feedback system. This makes them perfect for tasks where you need accurate control, the HW201 is an infrared obstacle avoidance sensor. It works by emitting infrared light and detecting whether the light bounces back, which indicates the presence of an object. If the IR light is reflected back to the sensor, it means there's an object in front of it, and it sends a signal to the Arduino. These sensors are commonly used in robots for object detection and collision avoidance. With those explanations in mind, let's start wiring the components. First, connect the Arduino's 5V pin and GND pin to the breadboard's power rails. Next, connect the servo motor to the Arduino. The red wire goes to 5V, the black wire to GND, and the yellow wire, which is the signal, goes to pin 3 on the Arduino. Next, let's wire the HW201 IR obstacle sensor. Connect the VCC pin of the sensor to the 5V on the Arduino, the GND pin to GND on the Arduino, and the out pin to pin 5 on the Arduino. Now let's put it all together. With the wiring done, let's jump into the code that will make everything work. We'll be using a simple sketch to control the servo motor based on the sensor's readings. Here's the code we'll be using. Let's break down this code line by line. We start by including the servo library, which allows us to control the servo motor. Next, we create a servo object called serve to interface with our servo motor. We then declare two variables. Pinier is set to pin 5, where our IR sensor is connected, and pin servo is set to pin 3, where our servo motor is connected. We also initialize a variable val to store the sensor's reading. In the setup function, we attach the servo motor to the specified pin using serve.attach pin servo. This tells the Arduino that we'll be controlling the servo motor connected to pin 3. Now, in the loop function, we continuously read the IR sensor's value using digital read, pin IR, and store it in the val variable. Here's where the magic happens. We use an if statement to check the value of val. If the sensor detects an object, val will be 1, and the servo motor will rotate to 10 degrees. If no object is detected, val will be 0, and the servo motor will rotate to 150 degrees. We add a small delay of 100 milliseconds between each reading to avoid too much rapid movement of the servo motor. Let's upload our code. Now that the code is uploaded to our Arduino, let's see it in action. As you can see, when an object is detected by the IR sensor, the servo motor moves to 10 degrees, and when there's no object, it returns to 150 degrees. This is a basic but powerful demonstration of how you can control motors with sensors using Arduino. And that's it for today's project. You've just learned how to make a servo motor react to an IR obstacle sensor using Arduino. This project can be expanded upon in many ways, perhaps by adding multiple sensors or integrating it into a larger robotic system. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Arduino tutorials and projects. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.